The possibilities are endless um, on how you can finish out your horse head structure. First of all, there's two different main um, patterns that are included. Um, the first one is more of a spiky one like this. It's like a Roman type um, uh, statue. Um, it comes with the, the pattern itself is smooth um, in, in the semicircle like that. Um, and what I did on this one was I went in and just trimmed it up to make it more spiky and less, uh, so they're not all even. So that's an, uh, that's an option. The other one also is one like this that's like just a traditional um, uh, horse's mane. Okay, so those are the two options you have for the mane. The other thing I want to point out is during the construction in the video, I show you how to construct the horse head like this one. Um, you have these cross pieces that are coming into the front of the horses down the middle here, which is what's done on this one. Um, in this one, because I wanted it to be more of a traditional style horse, I actually attach the pieces underneath the centerpiece so I can add a blaze to it. So those are the options that you have as far as working with these. Um, the other opportunity, the other thing too, is on the side pieces here, these two side components that are down here on a jawline, those are completely, those are decorative. So if you choose that you don't want to include those, if you want a more of a traditional horse style and not have those and just have your jaw and, and your neck empty, you can do that as well. Okay. You can use dyes and paints. Um, anything that you regularly use on leather, you can use to decorate these. Um, this one, I actually dyed it with black um, dye, and then I used silver metallic on top of it. This one, I used different color dyes, and then I used um, a, a, an acrylic paint to, to add the, the blaze down the center. This one is done with paints and dyes. I painted the actual, um, the, the main on this one. And the one on the end here, um, I, I did dark brown dye on the underneath, and then I add a copper bronzy color on top of it to, um, to give it those little highlights to it. Um, the different sizes here. This size right here is what the 100% gives you in the pattern. Um, and so if you printed out 100% uh, actual size, this is the size that you get. This one I actually printed it out at 115, 125%, so it's a little bit larger. And then this one I did actually at 150%, and so that gives you the different sizes. Um, one other trick I want to tell you um, is when you, uh, when, to get the mane, um, if you want your mane to stand up or if you want it to lay down like this guy. Um, when it's wet, if you want it to stand up, and similar like this one on the end, if you want it to stand up, what you do while it's wet and when it's dry and lay it on its side after you've added your dyes and that you're going to be doing or even the paints, whatever, lay it on its side and let it dry that way. Um, and that will cause your mane to stand up. Whereas at this one, I wanted it to lay over like on a horse and so I just brushed it over to the side and let it dry that way. So the possibilities are absolutely endless as what you can do with your statue. And I can't wait to see what you do with your pattern.